Living to 100 may seem like a long shot to a lot of people. My next guest, though, is looking for a way to make it possible for a lot of people. Stuart Kim is with us. He's the genetics professor at Stanford University. Sir, does such a thing as an anti-aging gene actually exist? Um, I think so. We found five genes in our recent study that uh, seem to be different in centenarians versus normal people. These are... Um, genes that help prevent disease in these people when they were younger and uh, allowed them and gave them a better chance at making it to be age 100. If you look down the road a ways, is it possible to get these five genes and stick them into someone like me so that I can get that genetic structure and live to 100? Well, you're asking a far-reaching question. Yes. I mean, this is down the road is, <laughs> yeah. is if 10 years or something like this. But let's say you're, you have quite a bit left in your gas tank, and science is really moving at a rapid clip right now. The technology is just inspiring. Uh, so I think if you have some left in the gas tank, there are going to be amazing things that are possible with stem cell therapy, gene therapy. And if we understand the mechanisms about how to slow down aging, there may be some interesting possibilities available to people that are around today. Not today, but 10 years from now or 20 years from now when we can start to do these kinds of therapies, which is plenty of time for lots of people that have uh, enough time uh, okay. left. So is living past 100 a genetic thing? Because a lot of people say, no, eat the right foods, do the right amount of exercise, don't smoke, don't do this, don't do that. Lifestyle will get you past 100. But you say that a part of the basis no. of getting past 100 is genetics? Go ahead. No, lifestyle won't do it. Lifestyle, diet and exercise, I think you could get maybe five years or something like that. But if you want to live 30 years, you really want genetics. The person who, you, the world's oldest doctor, person. Doctor, you have just upset all <laughs> the people in the studio who exercise vigorously. That's right. And like go every all day. Kinds of diets. Thanks a lot. So much do it. Do today. it. It's five years. I mean, five years is good. <laughs> okay. And I, you'll be fitter I, I, and you'll be healthier. But it's not going to get you to age 110. The world's oldest person smoked for 116 years. <laughs> that person had, that person had access to things that we don't have. And that's what I want to know is how did they slow down their clock? Okay. And if you could slow down your clock, you're going way deeper than eating right. Okay, doctor, you're the top guy in your line of business, if I can put it like that. You're the genetics professor at Stanford University. You're king of the hill. Are you telling me that you can do it within 10 years? You can isolate those genes, stick them into a young person, and they'll be centenarians? Can you do that? Well, first off, I don't know about top guy. I, there are hey. lots and lots of colleagues in my study. Um, mm -hmm. Ten years, I have a lot of faith in the scientists and the colleagues in, in the world. They're really creative and they're doing amazing things. And ten years is a long time. Ten years ago, we didn't know about this thing called CRISPR-Cas9, which has completely rewritten the book, rule book. Another 10 years, we'll have more, more discoveries that aren't even foreseen right now, and things will become possible. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, the, and, the, and the incentive to live longer and slow down the aging clock is enormous. So if it even starts to become possible, I think there'll be the will to try and get it done. Doctor, that was a wonderful interview. We thank you very much really indeed for giving hope to all of us who would love to see 100 years of age. Dr. Stewart, good name. Thank you very much. Stuart Kim, good man. <laughs> thank you very much, Doctor. We'll see you soon.